the game, and it was the home standing engineers who struck first. Jimmy Robertson here to Aaron Savasley, and he takes it 68 yards down the sideline for the touchdown, and RPI players and fans getting fired up in the end zone. Peter Nilsson here for the extra point, and RPI leaves 7-0. On Rensselaer's next position, Robertson tosses to sophomore Patrick McCarthy, who gets a block and dives for the pylon, putting RPI up 14-0. Let's take one more look at this one. Watch Savasley's block on the outside, who frees McCarthy for the score. But the engineers from WPI would not go quietly. Aaron Champagne busts in from a yard out to pull within 14-7 here. Then a fumble by RPI. Sets up WPI with good field position. Took them a few tries, however, to get in from the one as the first, first down play is stopped. And Justin Wells on second down is tied up. And finally, Wells, on a very similar play, runs it in. WPI ties the game at 14. After his Vosley score gives RPI a 21-14 advantage, it's Nick Costa who lays into one there down the sideline. They'll go to Costa again, this time on the ground. Out of the shotgun, he rumbles all the way down to the two. Why not give it right back to him? As on this goal line chance, from about two and a half out, it's Costa who gives a little extra effort into the end zone for the score. WPI looking to come back in the second half, but Rensselaer's defense was equal to the task. Here, stuffing him in the backfield. Later in the third quarter, it's McCarthy who shows a little bit of everything here. As first, he makes this one-handed catch over the middle for a nice gain. And then on the next play, he takes this lateral from Jimmy Robertson and fires downfield to a wide open Aaron Savasley for the touchdown. McCarthy's first touchdown pass of his career. Watch it one more time, this time from the end zone cam. It's McCarthy to Savasley. And RPI goes on to win this one 35 to 21.